What's up, guys? This is Rick Solite signing in. Welcome back to the next... Welcome back to Resident Evil. I'm trying to break out of the system, but I cannot do it. So, let's have a quick recap of what happened in last week, uh, last week's, in yesterday's video, if you didn't recall. We killed a giant plant. We made a potion. Fucking TV. We made a potion. And that potion killed the plant. I didn't have the documentation to help me make the potion. Although I've read the documentation somewhere, but I can't remember where it was. But nonetheless, we made it. By potluck. If I didn't know what I were doing, <laughs> we would have been stuck. Nah, if I, I would have just looked up a guide. But I, I was actually proud of myself. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to put these things together and hope for the best. Don't need to go through that door no more. I need to see this... I need to look upstairs if the plan has let go any locations where it can go to now. Or if the beehive is down. I think I might need some insecticide spray though to kill the bees or the beehive. And I only have the pump. I don't have the chemical. I wish I did have the chemical. That would have been grand. But let's go see when we go back up on top. We'll see what we can uh, take with us or go down with. And see or where to go from there because that'd be fun that would be very fun i do my little spin dances i do it in devil may cry too <laughs> it's just fun every two seconds <laughs> i could do it all the time if i could do it in a game any game i do i even do it in i think i do it in um that one game we played okay just making sure i don't see anybody like just chilling out somewhere to do it now, Sunset Overdrive. I think we should be finish finishing that soon. Because I'm not doing the DLC stuff. Oh, bees? Bees are still here. Okay. Right, you see a giant beehive. Oh! Oh! Yes, I know we see a giant beehive. Ah! Aha! Right. That solves the bee problem. Perfect. That solved the bee problem indeed. Okay, these two bees are going to be fucking pricks all the way through the rest of the game. There's three left. Shot. Shot. Oh my god, I've got fucking skills to shoot bees like that. Right, map. What doors were we not available to go through last time because of the thing? We went through all of them. That... Down that corridor is a red herb. In the big room, there's a, fir there's a first aid kit and a green herb. The big corridor, which I need to go down to now, actually has a red herb and something else that I need to pick up. And I need a key for that door there. Oh. So that door at the far end would have been blocked by the plant, I think. Unless there was something out here that were blocked by the plant. I don't know because I've actually not been into that round thing yet. But I don't know where to get to that lift. We'll soon find out. Because I don't need to go that way. I think... Why did they kill... Oh yeah, they killed the plant. We're just like, what the fuck was that? You're not dead? Oh, you are dead. Thank Christ they killed all the bees though. Jesus. There might be some more though, chilling out. But we can go forward at least. It's a good thing I'll check the back of that little crack. <laughs> I didn't click on until I clicked back on it. Alright, are you all dead? Is there any more you fuckers? You've not changed. Good. Good. Aha! The residence key. I'm going to take this because I know what's going to happen. I can call right now that that dude there is now going to be a zombie. God, it looks fucking stung to bits. Oh, it looks grim. It's a nice angle, though. Very nice angle. Okay, Mr. Key. You gonna work on this door? Of course. Right, what's, be what's behind door 003? If Barry's on the other side of this, I'm gonna be like, the fuck do you get back here? <laughs> oh, I saw something. Oh, I don't want to go through this room. I want my shotgun for safety. Oh, gross. This was a dead plant. 
The roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out of the wall. I would have died if I went in here then, wouldn't I? It's full of dirty water. Pull the plug. Yup. What have we got? There's something in the bathtub. <gasps> A sword! I'll take the dagger, sure. It's helpful. The shelves are lined with various soaps for Lombella brand products. That would mean where the plant would have fucked you up. I think you've got to fight the plant. I don't bloody know. Unless the plant shrivels up somewhere else. I see. Aha! This is what I saw. Ink ribbon. Must be a safe point nearby. Hello? Hello? Ah, safe point's right there, look. Of course it is. Good. I could do with a new save. Jesus. I like saving over the same one, though. Hopefully we'll catch up eventually, because I'm on more episode 17 now. I'm trying to like keep an eye because I've got like a different list written down and it's all over the fucking place. I just don't know how to deal with it anymore. Gonna be spooky. A giant plant is squishing the wall, a swarm of angry moths surrounds it. Your view is blocked by a dense thick of trees. So what was the point of coming here then? Just for a freaking key? Just to save it? So I didn't really need to do all that freaking be bullshit then, right? Or was it just this thing I could have done? Hey, save points. Is oh, never mind. The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book. Snatch between. Take it. Yup. Organic chemistry lab experiment. Similarities in the cellular characteristics by the repeat rapid... Bleh. Oh, the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the Ulm family, Umber Umbrella Number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. Oh. <laughs> I see what I should have done. I should have gone round, got the pump, used the pump to kill the bee to get the key to get this documentation. We have given Ulm Number 20 a new name, Vigil. If calculations prove correct, when Vigil is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The Vigil can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemicals are as below. Red, yellow, green, orange, blue, dot brown. So basically, you have to use every single one of them. You have to use red, but you can't put red and yellow together because it makes orange. Well, yeah, you do do that, don't you? you? Make orange, you make green, you make blue, but then blue with dark brown is like basically blue and red make apparently make dark brown. Apparently, instead of purple, but you know, <laughs> I had VP seventeen. I don't know who was close. I just had to shove the red one to it. But even that freaking documentation didn't help. Right, I need a box. Because this is for something else. So, this looks like it's going to open. I want to go see what's behind that bookcase. And I've got just the document to do that with. Did I find it? Did I pick it up? I did. I put it back in the box. Oh, the plant's not going to bother you anymore, though. So that's good. I killed it. Yay! Save shovels around the mansion again. Well, the cabin. It's weird how you start off in a mansion, now I'm in a cabin. I'll go back to the mansion soon. I think we've got a key somewhere. Alright, well. At least all the bad bo bad guys are dead. There should be nothing else to bother me inside this place now. It should be the safest place in this game. That's a new zombie appears from nowhere, like it did. Okay. Plant test. Yay, I killed it. Good, good. We don't need not a lot of things anymore. If it gives me the magnum, I'm going to be like, Oh, happy days. <laughs> oh, happy days. <laughs> where the fuck is this book? I don't even know where I put it. Somewhere in here. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. All right. Do I keep the ink ribbons on me? Got five minutes. Yeah, fuck it. I'll keep them on me for now. So I don't know I'm gonna save it again next. I might open up the bookcase and save it then, I don't know. 
I just wonder what this bookcase is hiding for me. Oh, happy days. <laughs> so you can see where you have to put this box then, can't you? Because there's a small one there you can jump on. And the big one. And then the small one at the end so you'd avoid the plant. It's fucking dead now, so what does it matter? <laughs> I'm hoping it's a magnum now. I've got my hopes up for a magnum. I'm going to be disappointed if it's anything other than a magnum. <laughs> Unless it's something better. <laughs> but a magnum's like... <laughs> How you doing, zombie? I won't use it on zombies. I'll save it for the fucking tyrant if I have to. I just want to see what it does. I want to see what's inside. Ooh. Looking forward to it. What the f Why is my hair curling like that? That was weird. Well, it curled upwards. Define laws of physics, my hair does. Okay. Space in between the books catches your attention. The space between the books catches your attention. Right. We have this, though, for that certain case. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. It's a lady! Re reorder the books. Right. You! I don't know if you're going to be at bottom or top. Right. Let's move you with you. Okay. Yes, I'll leave you there. I don't know if that's going to be the bottom, though. Let's move you with you. Is that fitting? No. That is not fitting. That one. We'll move that with that one. There we go. Yep. Put you on this side. That's still not correct. Reorder the books. Yes. This. With this. Where's her head? I'm missing one. Yep. Okay, they're correct. Then I would suggest this with this. Oh, I've seen a head now. Okay. Keep it going. Okay, the body. Nope. Put you back. That's correct, but in the wrong feckin' order. Put you there with that one. One more try. And put you with you. I called it. But I don't know what's going to be back here. Oh. The way forward. Well, that would have made sense. And that would have made all the sense. They should be shriveling up still, right? And dying? Good. Good. I think Chris had to kill it, though. They didn't die. <laughs> You're a fucking flame from us. Thing? Barry! Jill! <laughs> Great. Go on, Barry. Burn his fucking brains out. I love you, Barry. So apparently, they were wrong. The uh, V-Jolt does not kill the plant. He just killed its roots. Well, I killed its roots, then I didn't kill the plant itself. Must be dying now, though, aren't it, bastard? Thanks, Barry. Thanks very much. I thought it was finished. Yeah. Can I have your flamethrower now, please? That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? A plant. What the hell's going on in this Plant place? Plant 42. Ooh, we've got Barry on the side? Nope, he's just chilling out. What's this? Oh, a giant fucking key. <gasps> oh, it's the freaking crown key. It is, isn't it? It's the key we want in. There's nothing unusual. There it is. It's an engraving of a helmet. We've got the helmet key. Endows in blood. But we got the key. The key, master. Your boy. Nice. Okay, is there anything else in this room? Other than to go upstairs and back out. Let's try. Let's have a look. Anything at all? Anything? But they think this is where you fight the plant with Chris. Obviously, because it's the same game representatively. At least we got a key, though. 
So it's more like, oh, get this with Chris, get this with Jill, get this with Chris. You know, it takes it in between, I think. So it makes it like, if you're an achievement hunter. Wait. This wasn't here before. Oh, yeah. Be the way back out, wasn't it? Duh! Fucking duh! Barry? Alright. Your funeral, lad. If you want to stay back there, you stay back there. I need to go back to the mansion now, don't I? Oh well, we'll rendezvous at the normal safe stay point, <laughs> and get head into the mansion if I if I know my way back. So need to do something in the graveyard though. Wesker. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Okay, we'll make Wesker. Alright. Well. Wesker, what the fuck have you been shooting? You've been using your hunters as target practice. We know you're evil. It's flipping Resident Evil 101. <laughs> Albert, yeah, you can see the two freaking plant holes. It is one on one. Albert West here is an evil motherfucker, right? Where's my save point? It's in here. Okay. Radio then. Feels like we're making nice progress. Even though we came back and we just literally jumped straight back in. We didn't even like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing kind of thing. We had a little bit of, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But we still ended up managing, we still managed to go the right way. Somehow, we just went, you know what, go that way. I was like, kind of like, kind of, if I had a special technique, if anyone had like a special thing, mine's just going the right way on by accident, basically. <laughs> like in, um, what do you call it? Back in pro, not pro, not pro, not pro, by back in Prince of Persia days, there were two ways to go. I always ended up going the right way instead of going the um, secretive wrong way. But now I know I'll play again and play. Oh, is that the right way? Because I like I don't because I, I do decide on that. It's like I'm gonna go this way, and then the way I go first is usually the right way. But eh, I don't know. But we figured out figured out the way where to go. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for today with this video of Resident Evil. We've got the key. We've got the helmet key. Did I just save it right? I did. Okay, so no no point going in here just yet. We've got enough time to do one more. It's gonna be a big one tomorrow though because it's 1,600 videos. Which is quite a big quite a big leap. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there for today. And I'm going to leave you with Let the Flings Begin by Paramore. Enjoy. <laughs>